Hello, hello. This is Michael Perozo. This is my beer story. And we are at Mount Shasta Brewing Company in Weed, California. From what I can tell, they used to be called uh, Weed Ales, but uh, they don't go by that anymore. Uh, started the video inside and then stepped outside because they're pretty busy and it's pretty loud in there and I just want to be able to uh, make sure that you hear this. Um, but yeah, so we're uh, headed home uh, from a, a little getaway for our anniversary and uh, my wife and I um, were passing by Mount Shasta, beautiful, gorgeous mountain, uh, right off I-5. And uh, of course, I'd heard of Mount Shasta Brewing Company. Every other time I've ever driven by here, uh, I've been, uh, like it's been either early morning or late at night. Uh, and so these guys, who I, I believe they're open 11 to 8, um, they've never been open when I pass through. So finally, caught them. Uh, when they were open, uh, you know, it wasn't a planned thing for today, but it was something that we just were like, wait a second, we're driving by Mount Shasta, Mount Shasta Brewing Company, we have to stop, are they open, what's going on? So, that's what we did, we ended up here, uh, did a flight of beers, uh, I went with a pint of the, uh, um, uh, their lager, it's a bohemian, uh, inspired lager, uh, called Lemurian, uh, re really good. Uh, there was also another interesting beer here. Um, they, they do a smoked version of their uh, Abner Weed Amber. Uh, so this one w was smoky, had smoked malts in it. Uh, and they increased the ABV. Uh, so it ended up, uh, they ended up calling it uh, their uh, Smoked Amber Oktoberfest. Uh, so that, that was really good. I'm not typically one to really enjoy uh, the the smoked malts that's not usually my jam this one was sweet enough that I really enjoyed it um, so yeah that's where today has brought us um, this is one of those days where I don't have a, a huge story to tell about Mount Shasta today is uh, creating a beer story this this is something this is a day I'll remember every time I come across Mount Shasta Brewing Company again uh, I'll remember when my wife and I spontaneously jumped off the freeway, came here, enjoyed it, um, and, and just really had a good time. So, let's turn around here, I gotta show you this. This right here is Lil Abner. Lil Abner here in Weed. Yeah, check out this guy. This is an awesome looking truck. Look at that, Mount Shasta Brewing Company. Just fantastic. I have no idea, I'm not into cars and things, so I can't tell you any of that. Uh, when I told you that, you know, I think they used to call themselves Weed Ales or something like that. Um, uh, well, you can see the phone number here is 1-800-WEED-ALE. <laughs> so, um, I believe there was a, a name change at some point that probably had to do with more government garbage than, than I even know about. I haven't looked all of that up. I don't know. I'm making it up. But uh, this is a, a, a great little great little truck. And over here more of the truck. A friend in weed is a friend indeed. Try some legal weed. That's just fantastic. So um yeah, uh, I've enjoyed my stop here. I've, I've tasted these guys' beers, you know, one at a time. The last two or three years they've been at Oregon Brewers Fest. So I've had the chance to enjoy their beers. And uh, really enjoyed being able to stop here and check this out. So my question for you today is, what's a brewery that you have pulled off to the side of the road? You didn't intend on visiting, you didn't drive there to visit it, but you were in an area, you find yourself in the right place, and you decided, let's uh let's check out this brewery you know maybe you googled it maybe you just drove past it and went whoa what's that turn around <laughs> however you came came upon it what's a brewery that you visited completely just out of the blue spontaneously we'll see you tomorrow for another beer story